Oh yeah, this is genius. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Deadwater Saloon Prologue. It's a saloon tycoon. Before on the channel, we've taken a look at games like, for example, Traveler's Rest, and uh, also Crossroads Inn, and another game known as Tavern Master, where we get to build our own taverns and inns, places for people to stay, of course, adventures and such come from all walks of life and come and stay at our taverns or our inns. But this is a saloon. It's the Wild West, brother. So let's give it up for uh, ladies who are uh, of the night, uh, independent contractors. Get it, ladies? Yeah, that's right. Woo! But in this game, not only do we get to design our own tavern by, you know, building all the things inside of it, we also get to make a character, so it's a bit of an RPG where we also get to, uh, you know, kind of take on quests and things like that and do illegal businesses behind closed doors, things like illegal gambling parlors and, I don't know, sell things and hide people from the sheriff, who knows. But we also get to build the town, too. Not only do we get to build the town, but we kind of influence the buildings around us a bit. We get a little bit of power. We're not the mayor, but we have a lot of influence because we're the first building in the middle of nowhere. Basically think of Vegas, but back in the days of the Wild West. So if you're a big fan of games like Red Dead Redemption or whatnot, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more Builder games. Thank you very much for smashing that like button, and welcome to all you awesome new members. By the way, did you guys ever watch Deadwood or maybe uh, Hell on Wheels? I remember those being good shows, but were they really good, or am I misremembering? I, I gotta go back and watch those, but damn, this music's good. Absolute 10 out of 10 right here. All right, let's jump into our first look at Deadwater Saloon Prologue. By the way, the game's coming to Steam on September 12th, 2022. And by the way, you can also, uh, yeah, again, download this demo for free. Let's go! Hey, we get to make our own character. All right. Dude, this music is so damn good. Let's go with uh, Linus Nelson. Uh, let's go with, uh, well, it's almost like Billy Nelson. Uh, let's go with the uh, Raptor uh, Dino instead. Looks like we can be a lady too if we want to. Oh. We can lower our health, but we'll get more attribute points. Okay. Don't know what that'll do. Are we going to get into a root and toot and shootout? I don't know. The town is Raptoria. And the saloon will be, I know what you guys want, the Bear's Den. There we go. All right. Ooh, we get attributes. like, uh, Or actually, these are attribute points, but these are kind of maybe like an overall... Uh, Career or something like Oh, no, it's like a overall uh, character arc or something like that. Handsome, calm, captivating, compassionate, devious, analytical, and daring. Why? They put every one of my characteristics in the game? How nice of them. Well, let's just go with handsome. I guess that's probably first on the list. Why not? Looks like they all have their different backgrounds, but it doesn't look like they'll change the things in the background, I don't think. Uh, oh, except for, yes, they do. They give you a little bit more medicine, for example, if you choose that one, or seduction if you choose another. Come here. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's actually a lot of depth to this. It's not just kind of like a on-the-surface RPG, but if you're a big fan of games like Fallout or any sort of RPG, there's definitely a lot of good stuff here. Cooking, finances, theology, seduction. I'm going to just throw a couple of random points in here. It's a demo after all, so, you know, I could spend all day making a character, but it might not matter too much. Looks like we got 40 points to start with, though. 80 if we got to choose, what, 80 health or something like that? Take a minus 20 points. All right, let's see. We've got ourselves economy. Let's go with Bountiful. It's a demo, so let's try to give our give ourselves a lot more points so we can see more. Wow, that's a nice way to describe the townspeople. Pleasant or... Yeah. All right, and then let's see. Uh, oh, people who don't use their blinker. Yeah, that's right. Or people who don't put on their seatbelt or signal and speed up into traffic as they're merging or slow down when they're exiting the highway. On the ramp, not in the actual exit lane. All right, let's go with, um, I don't know, Town Fast. Let's see more stuff here. And stress, let's go with mild. I don't know what any of that does. Determines the amount of stress you gain each day. I assume that'll kill us. If, uh, for example, if we have health, then maybe we have stress, because they kind of mentioned that too. All right. Well, anyway, let's start our game. Here we go. Damn, I love that harmonica. A new beginning. You're dropped off by a wagon in front of a large red building in the middle of nowhere. Walking inside, you breathe in the heavy, musty smell and wonder who is more insane. The man who puts you in such a large structure in the middle of nowhere or the man who will manage it. Well, I will manage to not read much of this tutorial as I am a professional YouTuber and then I'll regret it later. That's what we do, I suppose. <laughs> Welcome to Deadwater Saloon Tutorial. WASD to move around, zoom in and out with your mouse wheel. Uh, Q and E to rotate. Looks like we have action points, town opinion, health, stress, all up in the upper left corner. So that mostly probably has to do with our life or death, or they kick us out of town, that type of thing. And it looks like we also have to worry about profit flow. So right now we're losing twenty-five dollars a day, but hey, we got a lot of money available. Fifteen seventy-four, nice. Looks like things like storage and upkeep and things like that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 
manage cash carefully, they say. Looks like we got ourselves some bourbon, whiskey, some crude liquor, brother, some beer, and gin. All right, so we got to worry about that. Plus, also buying heavy meats, desserts, uh, inventory of cigars and fruits and such. Game? Oh, grain. Okay, cool. All right, we'll need to meet a trapper in order to buy that stuff. So that's where all of our goods are going to come in from. And on the left side, in the lower left, is our Yelp rating then. Yeah, I can see it. Refinement, entertainment, our rating for drinks and food, etc., etc. So it's going to be important to maintain that to be up high. All right, there's our build menu. Okay, so we're going to build inside the old saloon, the Bear Den. All right, welcome to the Bear Den then. Uh, we need to build and edit and erase things from here. And I assume this will be... Yeah, that'll show us the interior. So removing the roof. There it goes. All right, got to build something first. We need to build a barrel or trunk to increase storage. Oh, looks like we have ourselves an oak bar, mahogany, walnut. Very nice. Uh, we got lots of things to build here. Okay, right now they're only letting us build one of these things, so I guess we'll start with a trunk. Yeah, let's start storing some stuff in a trunk. Let's do it over maybe back here. So it's, uh, yeah, X, Zulu, no, Zulu and Charlie to rotate. All right. Plop that down over here, and if we don't like it, we can edit it and move it later. Something like that. All right, cool. Well, let's place it here, and boom, there we go. Next. That's it for now. We'll continue giving you tips and advice as you open new screens or situations develop. You got it, Chief. All right, so I'm assuming this is how it's going to work. If it's anything like other games that I mentioned at the start of the video, it looks like there's like a main road that comes into town, so this is where people are going to come in and out. Wow, look at that. They've detailed birds in the game. Trapper, a shanty is being constructed right alongside the saloon. It would seem a roughly clothed trapper, a true western pathfinder, has moved into the town to provide their goods. Be sure to check their wares once they open for business. They tend to sell cheap alcohol and wild game. Oh! Games. Is it uh, Gabe Newell? Is this Steam? What is this? Oh, this must be a uh, barn? I I'm not sure. I hear noises, though. They're constructing something. Is that the trapper? No, the trapper's right there. That's next to the barn. Oh, it looks like uh, Greta Edwards is moving in. Selling some crude liquor and game. I will go ahead and buy some liquor from you as soon as you can supply it. What about uh, wild game? No, we don't have enough storage. Okay. Well, let's pause things while we figure it out. Looks like there's a well here and birds flying around. Oh, they're going to crap in that. But like I said, I think people are going to come through. This is basically a highway. So all sorts of different uh, gangs and people are going to fly through town and basically want to either stop or not stop at the town to either live here or not. And I'm assuming that's probably where the trapper is going to live. So we actually have the option to build buildings in this town. So I guess as we uh, influence the town and whatnot, we can do all sorts of different uh, um, influencing of bringing people to the town for specialties at our saloon or we can maybe get them for other jobs or use our money to uh, pay back uh, to do something to buy for now and then pay somebody pays us back later that kind of thing no customers no staff we don't even have a barkeep man this sucks all right let's get started it is now february 1st 1840 let's go back to that build menu and lay out some nice stuff here we got a stove for stew cast iron we got a backroom shelf okay we must be able to make walls and such here, too. Yeah, there we go. So we can lay out a room. We got doorways, windows, wallpaper. Uh, we got $1,500, so we better be a little careful with it. But let's at least lay out a room. Oh, my thoughts, too, by the way, are... I don't know about you, but I immediately think of, like, stairs being on the left side, going up to, like, the second floor, and then having a balcony there where, you know, all the ladies are hanging out, and there's all the rooms for uh, overnight stay, if you know what I mean. Also, we need to get a peony down here on the floor. Not a piano. A peony. We need to make sure we got that. All right, let's go ahead and build a room. I think we'll build it over here then, where maybe the uh, stairs will eventually go up above. Let's do like a two by, maybe a two by four. Let's build that, and then let's throw a door on it. So let's go, I hear construction. Is time paused? I think so, I hope so. Build a little doorway there. Can we change the door style? No, not in the, not in the demo. Okay, so let's throw that trunk in there if we can. So back to edit. We should be able to move this somehow, right? Oh, there, there. now it's paused, okay. Um, how do I move stuff? That'd be it, okay. Then I want to throw that over here in the corner. Cool. Can I move the door easily? Uh, maybe if we click move again, no, okay. Well, we can erase things if we want to. All right, we need a bar, right? So what do we got under utility? We got an oak bar for 945, that's gonna be needed. We're gonna serve some drinks here in the bear's den. Let's see how we can rotate things. Nice. We can actually put them into a variety of different positions. That's nice. 
Let's back the bar up maybe over here. I feel like we should be able to make it the whole... I want to make it the whole length, but I guess that's a good start. Looks like you haven't hired any staff for your saloon. From the staff screen, you can hire staff to live in your town. Very few at first. Or you can import a staff member from out of town using the tabs on the side. Remember, out of towners may take a day or so before they arrive at the old saloon. Oh, nice. The trapper is done. Cool. So they're going out getting all sorts of different critters and birds and things like that for meat. And I don't know how they're getting the booze, but I'm not going to ask. Let's go ahead and hire a staff member. Uh, so let's see. I guess we're going to have to hire an out of towner. Let's go with, um, let's go with Cindy Nelson. That'll be our barkeep. Hire, yes. All right, that'll take a few days for they, them to get here. So I guess they are going to arrive and then build a house. Maybe they'll move in with their whole family. Oh, just like the trapper did. That's got to be the trapper's family, right? Let's take a look at character. This is our character screen. Cool. Uh, this is our saloon. So all of our... Oh, this is our inventory. Oh, look at all that stuff. Theft. Uh, opi opium. What? Excuse me? Is that what... Oh, that's what that is. Great. Uh, wonderful. Coffee, other things. Okay. Cigar, foods. Yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, let's see. We did see the research screen before. We got information on customers, journal of events. Ah, here's the town screen. So the town sucks. People hate the town, I think, already. Uh, actually, we have a population of three. We're at town level out one out of four. No suspicion, though, from the uh, local sheriff who might come looking if we're doing some illegal deeds or harboring prisoners or convicts or criminals or outlaws or whatnot. Ah, wait a minute. A trapper offering crude liquor for sale. We might be able to influence her or possibly buy? Oh, wealth rating is three. Could we, oh, all right, we might be able to buy her business. Yeah, we can actually buy the business. Okay, forget it. I'd sell my business to you for Oh, she'd buy for just like a hundred bucks more than what we got. Okay. Well, never mind. We'll try to buy her out later. All right, can we do more decoration inside? I don't think we can skip nighttime. Kitchen shelf. Any lighting? Oh, look at this. We got our peony. We got our... Uh, oh, good. We got ourselves roulette wheels, dart boards, and of course beds. And a stage, too, for musical performances. And lots of decor. We got ourselves hat hangers. Oh, that'll probably raise some things of our rating. All right, we better put down... Um, now, we're going to wait until morning. I'm going to pause again and try to put down some uh, tables and whatnot. Looks like we have ourselves paintings and a saloon thingy. All right, I guess we can put it down now. Let's go ahead and make some tables then. It's going to be a really simple start. I mean, we're kind of low on money already. I shouldn't say we're low, but uh, we need to make money before we can really crazily spend money. So let's just start nicely. We built some nice... Uh... Oh, this one comes with chairs too. Let's build a couple of narrow ones over there. And eventually we're going to have to build ourselves a kitchen, but again, since we're so uh, small, let's just start with a couple of tables and maybe uh, individual tables over here. Let's go chairs here. Oh, so that's cool. We can make a small table. Does it latch in? Become connected with that table? Let's see if it actually, like, links in. Okay. Now we'll make it for two people. These will be the more intimate settings over here. For couples and partners and brothers and sisters and amens, all sorts of different folk of all type. Cool. All right, can I put anything on the tables? What about decoration? Can I like put a light or a something? Oh, we can put a moose on the table or on the uh, on the wall next to the tables. Very nice. A wanted poster, sweet. I'm gonna go with a uh, let's go with a rug, uh, but I'm not sure if I want that one. Oh, let's put it in front of the bar. Let's see if we can actually do that. Oh, nice. Okay, perfect. Very nice. Can we put, like... Oh, I want to put bar stools up to the bar. Maybe we can do that a little bit later. Um, looks like there's lots of nice furniture options. There's our lighting options. Yeah, we can get a nice fireplace. Cool. Candles, wall sconce, chandelier. Oh, lanterns. Those are nice. $1.89 for that. Can I put that on the tables? I don't know if they'll like that or not, but it could kind of look cool on the tables, I guess. What does that give us? Plus what now? Two re was that refinement popping up? What was that? Okay, those are kind of cool. So our business is probably going to run 24-7 as we'll have people coming and going all hours of the day and probably also, uh, you know, wanting to come in and out of the hotel. So that's a thing. I guess uh, we're not responsible for burning yourself. Let's see, more candles. Maybe I'll put a uh, chandelier near the entrance. 
I gotta put a bear head over this something. Maybe the entrance somewhere. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, cool. It like puts it right there. Fancy. All right, let's go ahead and put it here. There we go. All right, so the place is looking nicer already. Gotta say, we're having a little fun decorating, that's for sure. Okay, this is the thing we really want to do, you know, is decorate and whatnot, but I'm assuming eventually, we, if we can buy these other buildings, we might be able to manage them for the employees in there, or maybe the building itself. Maybe we can decorate and add more things to that. It'd be cool if the menu opened up and allowed us to do much more than the tavern, I mean. All right, let's see. We got a wardrobe there, some things for upstairs. How do we make a stairs? There's got to be a way for that. Let's worry about that later. Let's do a hat hanger. Maybe we'll put that over here on the wall. Oof, don't want to put it in front of the windows. Let's see. There's not like a precise, like a precision placement. Oh, man. I will right, we'll have to put it over here. There we go. All right, let's put some more rugs down, and then we'll wait until tomorrow for somebody to come in for uh, their first day at work, hopefully. It only takes a day. Who else should we hire? We have a barkeep. That should be enough for now, right? And then we should keep all the booze in the back. Maybe we'll buy wild meat, too. Maybe people will be hungry. Let's do, what was it, utility for... St oh, look at this. We got a workbench, too. Oh, I wonder if our main character can actually work that stuff. We got a cutting table, so that must have something to do with butchering. And then a workbench, so that could be something to do with maybe making repairs of stuff. We also have a bedroom shelf and snacks. All right. They put me in the game. I'm quite the one. All right, we have a safe, too, so there is a possibility we could get robbed in this game. Maybe, uh, you know, thieves and stuff will show up and not only cause havoc to the town, but also start robbing us and the other townsfolk. Put a light in there, in that room. Let's see, lighting. Um, oh, we have actually an antler chandelier that can go in the middle of the saloon. Fancy. Put that right there. Cool. Hey, somebody's coming in. That must be our uh, person for their first day. Oh, okay, cool. She's already working. Nice, thank you, welcome. Uh, let's go ahead and put a light in here. Maybe we'll put it in the back. There we go. Not too much light needs to be in there. All right, cool, just waiting around. Do, 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 do. Okay, I guess we're waiting for, uh, well, it's 4 a.m., but we gotta wait for our first cowboys to come on through. Uh, let's try to decorate as much as we can, even if we're gonna go bankrupt. I wanna see all this stuff set up to see how nice it actually looks. We're uh, still got quite a bit of cash. Uh, we got a square and an upright piano. Let's go with the square one, I guess. Okay, we'll put it in the corner over here. That looks cool. Okay, we could probably hire somebody to do, uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, piano, literally. How do we hire them? Book piano, there we go. Hooli Mitchell. That's, a, oh my god, look at young Bob Ross over here. Oh my god. Yes, please hire him right away. Uh, let's see, we have a, what is that? Uh, they work with gambling tables. Oh! Okay. Barkey piano. I've never heard that word before. A croupier? Is that how you say that? Huh. Never heard that term before. I always thought of them as being the um, dealer, I guess. That's probably easier to say. I do like that we can actually do um, wallpaper. I wonder if that actually provides any sort of bonus to decoration. Looks like there are windows, too, so that should do it. All right, let's throw down a, a rug. Unfortunately, I don't see, like, a circular rug. I'd like to... Oh, my God. A wolf head, a cougar, a boar, and a bear. My arch nemesis. Oh, yes. Well, if this is going to be the bear's den, we got to put the old bear head up there on the wall. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's getting bright out. And our first customers are coming through town. Roberts. Okay. So I assume the more um, reputable our business, the more people who might go out of their way to come down through the town. And not to mention, you know, this is basically like Route 66 right now. So, you know, everybody's coming through town. But there's no reason to stop at this city yet. So we've got to A, work on getting them to stop here. B, think about uh, getting them to stay here so they can be more uh, frequent with their patronage, if you know what I mean. Let's take a look at the houses then. Oh, yeah, so the Edwards family. Macaulay and Greta are living at the Edwards house over there on the other side of town. So now we just got to attract more business owners. And people who will uh, make money and then come here to kick back at the end of the day. Hopefully some people come through. Let's do a lovely framed picture, I guess. Maybe, you know, some decoration would look nice. One thing I don't like, though, is I, I want to be able to freely place things on the wall. It's kind of like locked into a grid. I'm pressing control, 
and stuff to see if that does it, but furniture mode just seems to lock into place. I think for putting things on the wall, it should be a little bit more free, as where, of course, the chairs might need to actually have AI pathing go from the door to the table, and then somebody comes over to either take their order or maybe they can go up to the bar or something. But um, I do like how we can also decorate while the game is still playing. That's really nice. Let's see, what else can we put down for the uh, bar? Well, hell, let's do the uh, wallpaper, I guess. Let's go with a uh, nice blue wallpaper. Or that Would that look weird? Um, I feel like the inside, this clapboard, should be, like, outside. I feel like we should have something nice here. Uh, let's see, if I hold shift... Oh, we can do a whole room green. Oh, let's do let's do a, a green wall here. Wait, I'm going to go with mostly green. We'll go with two-tone here. Oh, this is going to be perfect. Oh, we could even do like a little gambling room in green too. Let's just start with it though. We're going to go with green here. And then I want to do red on the back. Well, I didn't hold shift. But it looks like we can hold shift, so that's good. Yeah, it'll make the whole wall that way. Oh, it's all Christmassy now. Isn't that nice? Oh, uh, we got to do this room too. Let's make that room green or red. And then we'll make this in front of it green. Dude, I love this. Any customers yet? Hello? Anybody want to come to the, the old tavern? The the saloon? I clicked. It didn't work. Uh-oh. Oh, we're still in construction mode. Oh, there it goes. Perfect! Oh, that's looking nice, man. Hey, we got our first customer! He got off his high horse there just a second ago. Looks like horses despawn. Damn it. You don't got any rot gut? Oh, was he looking for something particular? I guess he was looking for a particular drink. Oh my god, you can hear the music going. Oh, let me buy food. Not enough storage, but I bought more. Uh, maybe I'll put some stuff in a barrel. We have 400 out of 500. Wait, the extra trunk that I bought doesn't store more? Plus 50 storage. Let me buy a couple of barrels. Uh, I can't put them behind her. Yeah, we'll put the barrels by the bear. Does that makes sense, I guess? I could put it under the... Uh, under the Baron on the wall, okay. George is now at 600, okay. Can I buy 200 at a time? There we go. Alright, so we bought some food and we bought some, some booze, brother. Oh my god, listen to the music. Fancy uh, finger work there, Tex. Good work. Okay, let's keep getting the uh, place looking nice. I think we need more lighting and such. I don't really care about the budget, honestly. I just want to build stuff. This is great, though. I like this. Uh, I could put a maybe a chandelier above the yeah above the bar itself. Nah. What else? We got a lantern. Can I put that up there? Ah, cool. Opium den. For better or worse, an opium den has arrived, providing the town with opium. Yeah! And a quiet place to recline. Hold opium pipes over oil lamps and inhale that sweet poppy vapor. Oh, God, don't do that, kids. Many will succumb to the promise of opium's guaranteed uh, recreational pain-killing properties. And also provide knives and loans. Do business at your own risk. Oh, great. So now we got some loan sharks in town. I wonder if we're going to get, like, for example, a post office, a train station, a general store, a church, sheriff's office, um, maybe a blacksmith, you know, all the things that you'd expect to see. Wow, we're already starting off as a great town of crime. Where's the uh, den, by the way? Oh, it's it's literally next door. Oh, wow, who approved this? Wow, they're going to steal some of our business. What the hell? People are going to go over there. Maybe we should just put Wendy's on the wall. Maybe they'll fall for that. Nah, I, I can't have that fresh, never frozen uh, taste. No way. Let's put another rug down, though. Place is about to get dirtier. No no damn got rut. They want rot gut. What is, how do I get rot gut? I bought crude liquor. Is there way, uh, any other way I can get that? Crude liquor, whiskey, bourbon, gin, beer, wine, rum, and tequila. Now, I think rot gut is like a thing that you get from drinking bad alcohol, but they kept they leave as if they're like looking for it. Anyway, a prairie a schooner pulls up and a frontiersman and his wife enter. They purchase several drinks when they ask you, hey, we've traveled a long way 
and are tired beyond comprehension. Can we sleep on your floor? Oh my god. Uh, sure, for the right price. Afraid we got too much to deal with. Uh, so we can have finances. Oh, I see. Uh, we should probably go with this option. No, you and your wife can take my bed. Whoa! 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 42% uh, chance to succeed. Uh, but where will you lay tonight, you reply. I can't sleep just about anywhere as long as I... As long as my clientele finds comfort. Oh, they gave me 20 bucks? Hell yeah! A $20 tip? Awesome! Wow. Okay, well, I paid for uh, some of the decorations. Great. Well, you can't find that kind of uh, service at the uh, opium den. Hi there, Gre Another Greta? How come everybody in this town's named Greta? Okay. Well, Greta has knives. Uh, plus 10 to saloon muscle. Bonus is permanent for that. I'll buy that. And a loan. Payable each day for a thousand. Wow, okay. Free stock when low. Uh, sure. I don't think I have room for that, though. I need more storage. Wow, I didn't realize storage would be such like a... Like a big deal. Unfortunately, I don't think I could buy shelves, can I? Let's see, utility. Ah, there is a back room shelf. I saw the bedroom shelf, but I thought that was for, like, books. But I should be able to put it right now. Oh, that thing's in the way, isn't it? Damn. Oh, wait. Oh, but they won't be able to interact with it. Hold on. Uh, let's put this over by the door, then. Or not. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so now let's put that shelf down. Oh, we have a safe, too. But that's, of course, just for money. Okay, cool. All right, now we have more storage space. Now we have 800. Oh, that's so much better. Let's get rid of these old ones. Let's actually get some good stuff here. Can we sell? Uh, not enough storage remaining if the item is destroyed. That message pops up way too quickly. I had to click it to read. Well, let's go with more backroom storage then. And I can't put it there because of that light, right? Yeah. Oh, come on. That should be able to totally fit. Okay, well, now we got 200 more. Hey, look. We can keep playing until the cows come home. I guess that's the end of the video. Never mind. Oh, that's so cool. These people might stop in. We got ranchers rolling through. Yeah, I told you guys. Wendy's. Fresh, never frozen. Exactly. Yeah, those burgers are square because they're not cutting corners, folks. It's not a, it's not a joke. Serious business, burgers. All right, let me purchase some of this stuff then. I don't know why we have to purchase like 200 at a time though. Like, why can't I purchase like 100 or 50? Whatever. Anyway, we're open. Hello, small business owner here. Please buy my stuff. I'm desperate. Ma'am, why don't you come off your high horse and step on it? We got, uh, there you go. Just get me some rot gut. And then she's going to be mad because we don't have that. What the hell? The... Oh, wait, I got to put things on the menu. I'm an idiot because I didn't read the tutorial. Which is fine, because now I figured it out. Uh, let's see. So how do we do that? Customer saloon. Okay. Oh, whoa. Wait a minute. We got Derringers, Winchesters, Shotguns, Colts, Navy, and Double Shotguns. Wow, we can actually probably get attacked and resist, like, if gangs come to town. That's sweet. We could be the sheriff of this town, then. Uh, let's see. So here's all of our different costs. So what's our daily profit? Dear God, negative $83. Uh-oh. Time to figure this stuff out. Let's see. Uh, saloon. Oh, we could close and open the saloon there. Your saloon, what now? It's currently hosting an open bar. The hell with that. Close that off. Currently not allowed to play. Wait, what? How do I turn these things on and off? Uh, let's see. Recipe, not research for serving drinks. Wait, I got to research literally pouring stuff into a bottle? Oh. What? The hell? Wait, if I bought crude alcohol from that per... Okay, I guess they want rot gut, fire water, tangle leg, and panther... Yeah. Okay. And then food is dill pickle, celery, pemmican. Isn't that from... I thought pemmican was from, like, seals or something, wasn't it? Uh, roast jackrabbit, wild goose, quail. We can buy partridge... Oh, this is all just, like, wild animals. Old-fashioned turkey, a rattlesnake, too. Like, no actual, um, no, like, scrambled eggs or anything? Or, uh, like, a eggs over my hammy or something? Okay. Whatever, we're gonna... I guess we can hope, host an open bar. We literally have nothing on the menu. 
All right, well, I would say, though, at least we're, we're stocked and ready to go, right? Now we got people coming to the town. Best barkeep ever. Hell yes, sir. Ma'am. Ma'am, sir. That's right. What can we get you? Food? Drink? Drink of food? Food drink? Okay, bye. Have a good day. I think she was satisfied for sure. Yeah, she was definitely a happy camper. All right, how's the research going? Six. Six what? Six hours? Six days? All right, anyway. It'll be open soon. That's fine. I think it looks good, though. I would like to make a second floor, and I think we can absolutely get that with this here. Oh, we could decorate the second floor separately, too. And that'll show the top of the place, but looking good for now. All right, so we should be making a lot of money from that. Right now, we're only losing like 20 bucks a day, so to little increase that a little bit. I like how we scammed everybody with the open bar. But I guess the open bar would be like we serve really cheap and bad drinks, but we get them on the food, or we get them on the, I don't know, like an entry fee or something like that. Sir, so you can go ahead and play music. Uh, how do we get you to play that funky music, right, boy? Uh, Huli, you want to you wanna hit it? Uh, allow piano playing. Go ahead. Take it away. And go. Okay. Right, well, research should be done with the, uh, yeah, the booze now. Researching nothing. Let's go with, uh, let's start serving dill pickles. Celery, what the hell? That's what you get, like, at a Buffalo Wild Wings with your hot wings. Hmm. Oh, 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 there we go. Yeah, he's taking the, uh, Oreos, not, yeah. T totally legal substance. A traveling theater troupe sets up a makeshift stage outside to put on a play. They share that one of their performances has fallen ill and ask you if you know anyone to play the part. Offer your dramatic talents. No way. I mean, I'll try. Success! In a panic, they accept your offer and learn lines that lead you to a wig and costume. You perform well enough for everyone's satisfaction. The troupe is so impressed, they pay you a share of the earnings. The town is ablaze at the barkeep's secret talent. Oh, yeah. Why, thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Another $20 for me? That's awesome. And I've gained a little bit of fame. And the town, wow, my performance was so legendary. Not only was my performance improved, but also the town has gained reputation. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. Uh, look at her sitting in that dress. That looks very uncomfortable. Oh, impin impin that, the, some of those pop-ups come up way too quick. It's hard to tell like what, what you're doing. Like, I guess I'm going to have to slow things down, but, like... Oh, wait. That... The only slower speed is literally paused. In a bid to spread their product, you're visited by Greta and offered a free product. Sure. I don't want to take it myself, but... Uh, you've increased your opium... Uh, Oreo supply. This should make a certain customer very happy. All right. Uh, the opinion of the town dropped, but our supply increased by 23. I don't think we needed that. And, uh, whatever. Town. I'm, I'm literally half the town. Actually, I'm not married or anything. Ooh, here comes some more cowboys. Yeehaw. Hey, piggies! Aw, oh, look at them. Oh, that's cool. Alright, everybody's mad. Dude, where's the damn piano? Sir, if you do not play that piano, I swear. Sir, I don't, I don't know the controls. I didn't read the tutorial. I'm just learning, but please. I need you to play that piano. I need it. What else we got? Open bar. Now we can close. Currently allowed to play. Julio, I uh, can you play something, please? Mo removed from saloon. Rob, <laughs> wait, I can I can hold up my own customers in this game? You've got to be kidding me! Murder? Oh wow! So we can get quests to like do all sorts of different things. Befriend requires action point. All right, let's try to make friends with them. You decide to befriend Huli. Uh, let's see. Offer to treat any health condition. Uh, challenge them to a friendly game of poker. Offer them some money to like you. Ah, here's a bribe. Your attempt has succeeded. Excellent. That sounded like a fail mission message, but it then it, succeeded. So uh, I assume it's probably a little hard to see in that dark corner, by the way, for the piano keys. Let's get you a lamp. Would you like a lamp, sir? Touch nothing but the lamp. Uh, but we can give you a helpful spittoon, I guess, if you want. There you go. Oh, 
that must have been absolutely disgusting. Ah, there are stools, so we can actually put... Well, I think it's a little too short. I think it's probably for the desks in the uh, rooms, but let's do a little lighting. Ooh, how about a Tiffany lamp? Ooh. Oh, it's a little too, uh... Well, pretty fancy, but unfortunately I can't hang it there. We could give you a little chandelier, though. Let's give you a uh, candle stand made of brass. There you go. You earned that one. Oh, I can't put it there either. That'll be a one to go on the floor. I guess not. Uh, how about a candle? There. It's a hovering candle. You are you are magic. Your music is magic, and you brought so much happiness to so many. You are amazing. All right, let's wait till daytime. It's now 10 p.m. So this is as fast as we can go. General store! It's only a matter of time before the town gained a general store. And at last, it's arrived. Sure, to provide wares of such coffee, such as coffee, sugar, uh, cigars, whiskey, and firearms, amen, brother. No matter how you look at it, the general store is an economic cornerstone for a growing town, along with your saloon, of course. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Open it up. Oh, this music's nice. All right, so we got the opium den, the trapper, the general store. A lawman and his officers have chosen your town for a multiple hanging, which means that in these parts, capital entertainment. Hooley Mitchell tells you it's a big deal. I might draw customers out of your saloon and into the streets. Uh, sing along with the drama. Sing along while Huli play. Oh God, a lot of these are gonna fail. Now nah, that's gonna be embarrassing. Let's go with the. Uh, let's just hang out. You stand at the excited crowd and gasp at the prisoners dropped. Their neck cracks like a falling of a tree. Justice has been served. Wow. Amazing. They must have been somebody who uh, didn't signal or bring their cart back at the grocery store. What else? Who, seriously, who doesn't... You, you walked six kilometers around the inside of the store, but couldn't bring it the extra 22 meters from your... Uh... Okay, I'm, I'm calm now. Oh, hello. Wow, sheep are passing through. Here, commotion! See a traveler rushing to the front of the general store. Arms filled with stolen merchandise. What? You hear Newton Joseph shout, Someone, stop him! Uh, let's see. Shoot at them from where you stand. Firepower zero versus one. Wait, they have one firepower? Damn, I don't have a gun. Uh, shout to rally the others. Uh, get them, guys. Oh, nothing we can do. Coffee reduced by four. Okay, I guess that's not that big of a deal. Oh, you're going about your day, minding your own business, and Greta comes over. What does she want? Uh, let's see. Cover up. Oh, these are all bad. Let's try leadership, though. Oh, boy. My stress is increased by zero, though, but she's a little madder. Oh, we could have bought a damn Derringer. Okay, well, I'm going to buy that now. So that doesn't happen again. So we got coffee, cigars, whiskey, and a Derringer. Oh, yeah. Hmm, okay. Oh, we can purchase this store. How much for this? 3008 So we can actually purchase all the other businesses, so we must make a passive income off that or something. Wow. I, this guy's looking for a Twitch streamer or TikTok? No. See that? No, you didn't. You didn't see it. Neither did I. We didn't see nothing, pal. Dude, I like this. Okay, so we got more and more customers coming in. That's good. Certainly good. Ain't no cook to serve me. Oh, we actually need a cook to serve some of that stuff? I didn't know. I thought it was just like ready to eat, you know? I thought it was like beef jerky. <laughs> All right, let's make some stew. Now, we got to put this on the menu, so I guess we'll throw it over here. Uh, we might need to move those tables. Oh, that that's a fine corner for it, I guess. Okay. Let's hire a cook, then. See how it works out. So, let's see. Staff. Cook. Uh, let's see. There we go. And, yes, I would like to hire you. Welcome aboard. Good to have you on the team. All right, they'll be here tomorrow. So, let's research some more stuff. We did dill pickles. Let's do pemmican now. Can we actually queue things up? No, it looks like there's a little lock next to each of them. And it looks like we can only do one at a time. Oh boy, Unruly Traveler is in the tavern. Uh, let's try the uh, cure-all. Oh boy. 
Chow time! Alright, so now we got somebody coming on over. Oh, here we go. Is that our guy? Oh, I thought that was... Oh, look at, look at all the... Wait, they're actually eating some food. It looks like fruits, though. <laughs> it looks like a cucumber and, like, an onion and then some sauce and, like, a raw beet. Wow. Huli seems to have lost the rhythm. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's not playing anymore, damn it. Uh, get their creative juices flowing. Yeah, okay. He's mad. I wish he would play his piano. I love how we can actually like do all sorts of different things, like entice them to play better or something like that. That's cool. Good music, though. All right, we actually turn in a profit? Not yet. Pretty soon, though. Oh, yeah, there we go. We went from 20 to 19 to 17. Very good. Let's go ahead and do some more research. I think the research thing's kind of weird. Like, I think a lot of this should be, like, already unlocked or whatever. Maybe we could, you know, unlock more advanced recipes. But things like, I don't know, bottled beer? Like, that doesn't seem like something we can make on the, the site. Wow. Uh, you hear your name called. A barkeep with a manor born. Okay, well, isn't that sweet? Oh, my stress is uh, lowered. He was saying a compliment. That's nice. And more people... Uh-oh, passing through town. Oh, he was only sweet-talking me because he wanted a favor. Okay, I, I can see that leadership, muscle, and drama are going to be the most important settings here. These are ones that constantly are coming up. If I could make another character, I'd probably go for things that affected that so far. Every single time it's been those. But so far, so good. I do like how randomly and frequently those random events are coming up. All right, let's see if we can turn a product uh, profit now. Tables are getting full. There's actually quite a few people in here for, you know, considering that we're kind of just learning. All right, let's go with some more table. I do like how the table and chairs is automatically, like, uh, kind of a thing. There we go. Let's build like that. Nice and cozy. Obviously, we can use our space a little more optimally next time. Just lessons learned. Okay, cool. A lot more seating. They lift their drink to me. Well, thank you. The neighbors are very nice. They keep coming over here and, like, drinking all of our booze and buying all of our stuff. They're cool. Uh, let's get a bouncer, just in case trouble breaks out. And uh, let's hire another barkeep. No more slots available for that staff type. Okay, so we need to build another bar in order to do that. All right, more people coming in. Nice. A baker? Wow. It's delightful to learn a baker has arrived in town to begin providing delicious grains and desserts. Ooh, foodstuffs um, are hard to come by in the western frontier county. It's certain that your clientele will appreciate the most welcome addition. Oh, thank God. Okay, so we don't have to just serve, like, meat and stuff all the time. Maybe we can serve desserts and cakes and pies. Uh-oh. A wise man comes up the road and tells you it takes a studious mind to know how to properly serve grub and spirits to clientele. Ooh. New recipes. A business selling a new type of drink or food has been built in the town. Oh, yeah, the bakery. Oh, wait, didn't I buy a gun? Does it tell us how many we have? Yeah, okay, we have one Derringer so far, so that'll be for our security guy. And then where was the other building being constructed? These are all the... Uh, I guess the residents, all sorts of different styles. Some actually look nice. This looks like a house that could exist in the 20s. Kind of cozy. Okay. There's the baker. There you are, sir. I was looking for you. Dessert or sponsor cooking fair? Hmm. 
Oh, it instantly attracts a new family to town. Hmm. Ooh, our money's almost positive. Nice. Okay, we're inventory's almost full again, so let's go with that. Pig farm. Oh, great. A pig farm. Well, at least we'll have soap. A smell overtakes the breeze as a pig farm. A farmer arrives with their herd, setting up a pig farm in the midst of town. Uh, it may seem as an inconvenience, but the pig farm will provide game meat and an efficient way to dispose of unwanted remains. Corpses accumulated by any devious activity. Also, aren't those pigs just undeniably cute? What? You can murder people in this game? and then feed them to the pigs. That's some mafia level stuff, dude. That's like really unique and actually like something a little more than just a cutesy little tavern simulator. There's a uh, op worms. You know, I got to say it that way for the algorithm and a few other things. <laughs> a love struck young couple has decided they want to use your saloon for their wedding. Oh, sure. Uh, let's go with expressing your saloon is no place to hold a wedding. Uh, okay. Oh, they hate the town now. Well, I gotta go with the highest success rates. Alright. I'm not gonna stop until we make at least one dollar. We gotta make a dollar. I hope. Come on, baby. So I wonder how often this thing calculates. It's 11 a.m. We've already made... We'll probably make a dollar soon? Like, how does this calculate? I like how the cook's just there. I definitely think we need to... Uh, redesign our uh, saloon for next time however i don't know maybe we can build the exterior bigger I, th I feel like it would be nice to add like a little notch on here and have a back room back here and then make the kitchen here instead but i guess we're gonna have to make things a lot tighter put the uh, table over in the corner there's so many more ways to build a, ta a little uh, saloon after learning just for the first run that's not bad and did we make a dollar we're back down to negative again all right so it must reset at midnight Let's see, mixology. Oh, everything's a fail. Jeez. Everything's a fail, fail, fail. Oh, there we go. Success. That's the noise for a success? Both of them sound like fail. Oh, rot got exhausted. We're going to buy some more from the neighbors. Oh, wait, that's automatic restock. We should have what we need then. Let's do some more research. Let's do some more. Let's do firewater now. That want that. Wow, look at all the people in town. I wish we could kind of choose where things were built, but thankfully it's not next to us. Uh, body disposal. We can. A buck 25 to dispose of a body. That's great. Greased pigs, which is a game that we can buy. Lower stress by 10. What? Oh. N no. They don't. No, there, there's no way. They don't mean... No. No. Greased pigs, lower stress. No. No way. Like, I could un understand owning a piglet because... No way. No. No way. There's no way. No way. There's no way. <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. A bar fight breaks out, and Horace is having a tough time bringing it under control. Uh, wait, Muscle, I gave you a gun to shoot a shot in the air. Oh my god. We're having bad times. Actually, we're having a great time. I'm, I'm enjoying this. I am learning a lot, and I like it. I think this is definitely unique as hell, and I want to see more games get like this level of uh, uniqueness, you know? You know what I mean? The Looney Saloon, that's for sure, in this Looney Tune. <laughs> well, that is it for my first look at Dead Water Saloon, the prologue available for free, and the full game coming out on September 14, 2022. A lot of thought into this one, and I'm glad to see like more of these types of uh, tavern simulators, whether it be medieval or, in this case, the Old West, which really reminds me of Red Dead Redemption and such, of course. But uh, I want to play more of these types of games, and I'd love to play this one on live stream too, and kind of get it as it's um, you know fully released in September 14th. So a good dabbling, a good taste of what's to come when it's released, and 
I hope you join me for when it does. I'll see you all soon. Thanks again for all your awesomeness. Support, positivity. Say hi down below in the comments section. So many of you literally say just that. But that would be awesome. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, everybody.